Do you remember when in the election of the time of Obama, there was a guy, his name is Joe the Plumber? Anyone remember Joe the Plumber? Joe the Plumber is a guy, he, you know, uh, you know, they stop in the front of his house, they ask him a question, he, you know, and then suddenly, the whole debate about Joe the Plumber, the, the election, the presidential election, it turned to be about Joe the Plumber. If you hear what they say in the election, you will hear that they repeated the name of Joe the Plumber like 1,000 times. It was a Joe the Plumber election. And then Joe the Plumber was invited to radio show, TV show. The guy became a rich. He is not a plumber no more. <laughs> like what happened to Joe the Plumber? <laughs> you know, Joe the Plumber is really the most interesting person in the history of the American. He is not important as a plumber. <laughs> Nobody care for his opinion. <laughs> but then suddenly, all the debate between those who want to become president, it's about Joe the Plumber, Joe the Plumber, Joe the Plumber. Joe the Plumber. Joe the Plumber, Joe the Plumber. What Joe the Plumber said? Joe the Plumber. Two lawyers. A couple of days ago, Senator Obama was out in Ohio and he had an encounter with a guy who's a plumber. His name is Joe Wurzelberger. Uh, Joe, what you want to do to Joe the plumber, and means more like him, <laughs> is have their taxes increased and not be able to realize the American dream is of owning their own business. That's what, what Joe want. believes. Uh, 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 <laughs> the, he's been watching some ads of uh, Senator McCain's. So let me tell you what I'm actually going to do. What I've said is I want to provide a tax cut for 95 percent of working Americans. 95 percent. If you make more, if you make less than a quarter million. Anyway, you can watch the video. All of it is about Joe the plumber. All of it. Suddenly, all those who want to become president, they care for Joe the plumber. How they care for you? They will plumb your money. All of them, they live in their mansion, their big houses. They have a huge money in their bank, but they care for Joe the plumber. Trust me. Listen, Joe. Listen. I am the one who will cut your taxes. And I will cut other things too. Just vote for me, okay? This is a this is the mockery in America. Where does guy he live right now? He speak about the human right and discrimination for black. He live between the white, red head, rich, thirty rich people, not just average. Where his house is? Did he live between a black neighborhood? No. Who, who his friends? Are they the black people? No. Where he spend his time? All of them, they are fraud and liars. All of them. Where Obama sent his daughters to school? Is that to an average African-American neighborhood school? Or he sent it to the most expensive white school? You know the answer. Is that correct? All of them, they are the same. You know, they say something to you and they do the opposite. That is reality. Anyway, so, you know, today we cover all this issue here with this guy. And if you know him and he is willing to contact me and to call me, I will be happy to have him for... We can call it a debate, we can call it a friendly conversation, we can call it whatever conversation. But I say to this man, you are misleading people, you are lying, and you called for the genocide of the 
Jews. And this is in your video, not in my video. This is your video, and you are the one by your own choice. You've chosen the best of your speeches. You are wearing a suit to convince us that you are a good person, educated person, nice person. But your suit is a suit of shame. Because what you just said is about killing every single Jew. So for black folk to get free, everybody needs to be free. We have an opportunity. For black people to get free, everybody needs to get free. How? By killing the Jews. Opportunity to not just offer solidarity in words, but to commit to political action. By the way, I want to ask a question. Why in the world even this idiot was invited to United Nations headquarters? Who are you? What is your qualification? Well, I will show you the qualification and why the Muslims, they wanted him to be there. And who is behind him to be invited? The Muslims, they use those people. They find a treasure on their use. So we will bring a person who is a supposed to human rights activist and he's a black and that is a bonus. And now he will support killing the Jews. What do you want more? By saying what? Free Palestine from the river to the sea. Grassroots action, local action, and international action that will give us what justice requires. And that is a free Palestine from the river to the sea. Criminal. That is a criminal statement. If we agree with him, for any sake, the only way to accomplish this is by killing every Jew. And this is why he was invited, sponsored by the Muslims. If we send this guy to live between them, you will see how they will treat him just because he's black. Our people are very racist. Our people are racist even against each other even if you are having the same color. Extremely racist. You know, the racism in the Arab society, when we say Arab, by the way, it's a very like flexible word. Like those, you know, they think that they call themselves Arab. Uh, those who they are Muslims in Egypt, they call themselves Arab, but they are African supposedly. Uh, those who live in Iraq, they call themselves Arab, 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 Arab. But if you are from different area, they discriminate you. What about if you are from the same area? Still, they discriminate you. There's a big family, there's a small family, there's a rich family, there's a poor family, there's an honorable family, there's dishonored families. Discrimination is in their blood. What if a white Arab, he married an African black woman? Disaster. That would never happen. In fact, have you ever seen one Arab come into America and he have a wife and he live with her for 20, 30 years? Not to divorce her after he get the green card. She is black. You will find that every single Muslim, he come from Pakistan, he come from Arabia. They don't go and they will never marry a black African woman. Why? Because they are not racist. But you will find a lot of white men in the West marrying black women. Is that correct? Is that correct, guys, or I'm lying? You will find a lot of white women in the West marrying black men. But I never saw all my life an Arab man marrying a black woman. Do you remember the guy who is uh, ex-Muslim? What's his name? Who the Muslims in England, they keep talking about his wife, the white wife. They are so interested in the white flesh. Why? Because Islam is racist. Muhammad, he promised them, even women in heaven, they will be so white to the point you will see the marrow of their bones.
You know, when Obama became a president, for the first time in history, the Kaaba they have an imam is black. So they made him a black because now the trend is Obama become a Muslim. So what they want to show the black, now the, the, the most important man in, 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 the, in the world is a black. So suddenly the king of Saudi Arabia decide to name a black man in Saudi Arabia to be the imam of the Kaaba. This is a position never happened before. He was there, I think, for a month only. Only a month. You know, when they notice the Americans they don't care for what this is, it's just to put it in the media, in the newspaper. Uh, King, uh, you know, he announced, the, you know, this guy is a black, they put his picture, uh, print, 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 and, and then the news, and then, oh, okay, two weeks after, bye bye. Bye bye. Muhammad, he used to have a slave, his name is Bilal, he's a black Ethiopian. The Muslim, they are so proud about him, but Bilal, Bilal the Ethiopian black, he was commanded to call for the prayer. They said to you, he's the first one to call for prayer. Because he's a slave, the white man don't want to wake up in the morning. They command him. It's even the hadith says, he was commanded. He is a slave. And Muhammad, he died and still Bilal is a slave. That is reality. Anyway, I want to say thank you for being here. And you can tell this man to call me or to, if you like, he can communicate with me. If you like to join me in life, because I believe he is absolutely misleading people. And if he is misleaded, well, I'm willing to help him. But if he is, he knew he is misleaded and he is trying to mislead people just because of a business then obviously he got busted today. And we have all the proofs and all the reference that Islam is a very evil cult. And when Hamas or any Palestinian, they speak about the Jews, they asked to kill all the Jews in the world, not the Jews only in Israel. And if you are a person who believe in a human right and you are activist as you call yourself, then you should stand with the Jews and they are the minority. They are not the one who want to kill every Muslim in the world. They are not the one who want to fight with Hezbollah and Iran and everybody. It's the opposite. Everybody claiming that he is right against Israel. Do you know why? Because they are a small, tiny minority. If Israel is a China, everybody will eat his shit. Nobody will dare to talk and nobody will dare to fight. Did you hear this guy speaking about the Tibet occupied by China? Eh, they don't care. No, no problem. Erdogan taking Cyprus? No problem. Taking half of Greece? No problem. Killing the people in, in, in Nagorno-Karabakh in Armenia? No problem. Just a few months ago. They never heard of it. They are activists only when it's come to the Jews. For this is a small, tiny minority. And you can curse them, you can hate them, you can say all things. And then there is 57 Muslim countries will sponsor your videos. You will make a lot of money. If you support Israel, who is going to support you? Nobody. No one. Even people will not like you. Just ride the wave. Go where the money goes. What about we start saying a free Cyprus, yeah? Free Greece. Free Constantinia. Give us our churches back. Free Syria. Free Iraq. All of this is occupation of the Muslims. Free Israel. Free Egypt. Give the land to the Coptic. You are not there because you are a fraud. Thank you all for being here. And until we see you soon again.